Hey guys, how's it going? Now, we all love customizing our Windows PCs, right? And when it comes to customizability, one of the first things that you can do is change the wallpaper. And we've already done a dedicated video on how you can actually go about changing your wallpaper using some of the best websites and applications. However, the next step in terms of customization is changing the font. Yes, you heard that right. You can actually change the default font of Windows 11 and basically give your whole Windows experience a completely new look. But how do you actually do that? Well, that's what this video is all about. This is one from Guiding Deck. And in today's video, I'll show you how you can easily change the default font of Windows 11. Let's get started. Now to change the default font on Windows 11, just press the Windows plus I keys to open the settings page. Now navigate to the personalization tab and click on fonts. Under available fonts, you'll see a list of all the fonts that are installed on your PC. Alternatively, you can also install new fonts by just simply clicking on the get more fonts from the Microsoft store. What's more is that if you have a TTF file of a very specific font that you wish to install, you can just drag and drop here to install that. Okay, so once the font has been installed, just note down the name of the font that you would like to use. For instance, for this video, we'll be making use of the Century font. Now, in order to change the default font of Windows everywhere, we'll have to use some registry hacks. And for that, we'll be creating our own script to modify the registry. Here's how to do that. Press the Windows plus R keys to open the run menu. Here, type in notepad and then press enter. Now, paste the following code in the text editor window. Don't worry, you can find the same code down there in the description box as well, from where you can just directly copy and paste it on your system. Here, just replace the font name in the code with the actual name of the font noted here. For instance, like I said, we'll be using Century, so our basic code will look something like this. Once done, just click on the file menu at the top and then select Save As. Now, in the Save As window, use the drop down menu next to Save As type to select All Files. Now, in the File Name field, just select a suitable name for your file, followed by the .reg extension. For instance, we'll be naming our file as custom-font.reg. Once done, just hit on save. Now, open the file explorer and navigate to the newly created registry file on your PC. Here, right-click on it and select open. Now, click on yes in the pop-up menu that appears. And that's it. Just restart your PC and Windows will have changed the default system fonts. Okay, so apart from changing the default font, Windows also takes things up a step by also allowing you to change the font size. To do that, once again press the Windows plus I keys to launch the settings app. Here, switch to the accessibility tab on your left and click on text size. Now use the slider next to the text size to increase or decrease the size. You can also preview the changes in the text size preview box. After changing the text size, just click on apply. And that's it. Windows will change the font size almost instantly. Okay, so you've had your fun, change the font, change with the font size, everything looks good, but what if you just wish to go back to as the things were? Well, that once again requires you to do some registry hacks, but let me make the process easier for you. The entire script I have created in a single registry file that you can download directly from the link down in the description box. All you have to do is just right click on that file, click on open, press OK on the prompt that appears and that's it. Just restart your PC and all of the font changes will be reverted and you'll be back to the default Windows 11 font style. And well, that was it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is Vaughn from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.